Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the solution for cocoa eating banana. So let's see how we can do this. Okay. Alright, now in this question what we have been given is that there is a person called Coco who loves to eat banana. Banana lover. Okay. So there are n piles of banana in front of Coco and Guards who were guarding that piles of banana have gone out to have some lunch or maybe just their shift ended and there is no one to guard the piles of banana for h number of hours here yeah. in the sample test case h is given as 8 okay so Coco can decide her banana per hour eating speed of k so Coco says that he can eat at the speed of k right now uh, every hour she chooses some pile and eat a banana from that pile so when the guards are gone for hrs so coco comes and picks one pile at each time she can pick this she can pick this she can pick this or this every hour okay and if the pile has less than k banana she will eat it say let's say k is equal to 5 her speeding uh, her banana spe eating speed is 5 she can eat 5 banana in one hour all right so what she is uh, if she picks first pile and she has speed of 5 all the piles uh, all the banana in the pile will be eaten by her okay but if uh, the time is left and she eats all the banana she won't pick the next pile to eat banana from them so she have eaten all this in one hour but now she is not going to eat two bananas left because her capacity of eating banana is five now so she is not going to eat from second pile until one hour is completed right now uh, additionally now coco likes to eat banana very slowly yeah why she is trying to eat very slowly why can't she eat fast simply if you will eat fast you will get food stuck in her throat no one wants that but more is everything should be done at its own pace you should enjoy doing things that's why coco loves to eat banana at very slow pace but she wants to eat all the banana she is very greedy so uh, she can eat all the banana if the guards can came so it means that in eight hours Coco should complete all the bananas. Should finish eating all the bananas before the guards come in eight hours. So we need to find how many bananas she can eat so that all the banana in these piles are eaten by her. And this number should be minimum because she likes to eat very slowly. Now this should be my k should be very minimum. Okay. So this is our question, this is what a question says. Now let's discuss its very simple approach, right? We don't know any, how, anything, we try to find which, uh, how can we find the solution, uh, how we can find the minimum speed k, right? Let's say uh, we start checking from 1, okay, uh, we start from 1 and try to calculate how many hours it will going it's going to take to eat all the bananas by coco speed initially is one so this is going to take three hours second pile is completed in six hours third pile is completed in seven hours fourth pile is completed in 11 hours so this is equal to 27 27 hours if coco will eat at this speed 
she won't be able to complete before 24 hours but the guards are coming in 8 hours she will be caught and Coco don't want to be caught that's why she has to complete all the banana in 8 hours so one can't be our answer so we increase the speed by 2 yeah. 2 2 not by 2 right so now this pile is going to complete in 2 hours this pile is going to complete in 3 hours this pile is completed in uh, 4 hours sorry and this is going to complete it in 6 hours all in all 15 hours still guards can come in 8 hours and she will be caught if she will eat at speed of 2 let's try again let's increase the speed by 3 so this is going to take 1 hour this is going to take 2 hours this is going to take 3 hours this is going to take 4 hours right so how many hours 10 hours she will be caught again right now let's increase her speed by one more now in one hour two hour two hour and three hours now eight hours now we have found a solution right Coco can eat at 4 and he can get out before the guard can come and catch her. But let's say instead of these many bananas, we have much more bigger pie. Let's say in thousands. So if we are going to calculate like this way, we are going to take too much time and we won't be able to know if she is getting caught or not. So let's try to find a better approach. Before this, let's try to calculate how much time this is actually going to take. Uh, let's say 1 to Z can be the possible solution. Z is some uh, number which is my actual solution. So I have to check for Z times. Z times. Okay and to check all the number of banana in uh, check the time for eating each banana and calculating if she is able to eat all the banana or not this is going to take me o of n time z times n which is nothing but o of n square time so O of n square will be the uh, time complexity for our naive approach when we don't know anything about data structures, algorithms, and anything like that. Just the brute force method to calculate the minimum value. Right. Now let's see how we can find a solution which is much faster than that because we want to know how this is uh, it's is she going to get caught and if she is not going to get caught what should be her minimum speed okay so let's start with uh maximum maximum speed at which she can eat all the bananas hmm. let's say she is eating at infinite banana per hour is infinite banana eating per hour possible obviously not for anyone right uh, so what we are going to do we are going to calculate a number which is actually possible so first of all we were given that here uh, if she eat banana from and all the banana from one pile she will not eat banana any more banana during this hour which means that if she has eaten all the banana in this there is some capacity of her speed left she is not going to start eating the next banana so at minimum she can eat this in one hour this is also in one hour this is also in one hour this is also in one hour right so minimum time will be equal to four hours 
so what should be the minimum speed at which all the banana will be eaten in four hours think carefully pause here and think what should be the minimum speed at which all the pile will be eaten by cocoa for four hours okay so i think you have thought about it so you have found out that this should be the minimum speed because if this is the minimum speed she is going to eat this in one hour okay this is going to be eaten by her in one hour this is going to be eaten by her one hour this right so 11 is the minimum speed at which she can eat all the piles now in the question we have been given that our h should be always uh, sorry r and will be always less than or equal to r h meaning the number of piles will be less than or equal to number of as the guards are gone so look carefully if my number of piles will be equal to my number of uh, hours then what's going to be the solution the solution is going to be 11 okay so this is my maximum speed at which i can uh, let the coco eat or coco is going to eat by herself all right now we have no we have found the minimum speed at which she can eat right. mm. 11 now if i will try to and minimum banana she can eat is zero she can't eat any banana maybe so uh, let's write it somewhere else zero and eleven our answer will lie from zero to eleven somewhere our answer will be present okay our answer will be present between zero to eleven now what we can do is we have the maximum speed and we try to reduce our speed and check if we can eat uh, coco can eat all the bananas i'm not going to eat any banana all right so uh, if i will start checking from 11 to 0 i will be able to find it mm. it is actually a little better than the previous solution but this is also going to take me a lot of time the same time complexity will be for this solution as well mm. but if you look carefully we have to find something between a range hmm. isn't there an algorithm that we have learned to do this but our binary uh, search don't we do something similar in that we search from 0 to 11 or we search from uh, low to high and find something don't we do this we are going to do exactly same thing here. Okay, low to high. I'm going to place low here. High here. High mid. Then we are going to compare the element. Uh, element. The speed. Is it possible? If it is possible, then I'm going to check on left or right according to that reduce my speed to the minimum using this method my search is much more efficient than linear search right earlier what we were doing was linear search i was starting from one then checking for one then two then three four five or here i was trying from 11 10 9 8 and so on and so forth okay so this method of binary searching will be much more efficient. Shall we try to run, run it? Uh, okay, let's run it. So 
they should be uh, low and they should be high and let's say what's going to be my middle this is my zero one two three these are my indexes actually but uh, i'm not doing it in this array actually i have written something wrong here i'm searching in a range of numbers not this array right i have to calculate number of uh not calculate number of number of hours for each file to be taken according to some speed here i will calculate some speed and then i am going to check if it is possible to eat all the banana or not so let's start from 0 to 11 and we see 0 11 this is my low this is my high okay uh, low plus high by 2 it is 6 so let's say my speed is 6 this is my speed this is my time taken okay so i'm going to check this will be completed in one hour this will be completed in one hour this will be completed in two hour this is going to be completed in two hour as well so total time will be one plus one two and six okay so this is slightly faster uh, not faster actually this is taking me six but i had time limit of eight so she can eat at much slower pace so what is going to happen my high is going to be shifted where shifted six minus one now we are going to search in between zero to five because my answer is definitely not from six to eleven now now zero to five it is going to be uh, two, right? So two. This is going to take two r. This is going to take three r, four r, and six r, and five, nine, and six, thirteen. Okay. Now definitely 2 is not our answer so we need to increase some speed so answer should be present between 3 to 5 now between 3 to 5 will be 4 so let's start with 4 1 2 hour. 2 hour. yeah how many how much time 8 and if you have remembered earlier what we were doing in the linear search i was trying from one then two then three then i reached four i reached four in four times but in this i reached in three times i was checking only three times in this i had to check four times you might be thinking that oh what you have to do only one time more and you are trying now but remember this is only for four element and our maximum value was only 11. suppose we have much more than uh, much more number of files or much more number of banana in that file it would have taken longer to calculate everything like this okay so this is what we are going to do to solve our problem we are going to apply binary research on the range that we have found how we are going to find the range i already know low should start from zero because minimum speed could be zero and i have found my maximum speed by searching in my entire array which is the maximum element 
this is going to be my maximum speed at which everything can be completed at the minimum pace right so that's it for all the approach now let's for this okay so let's see a solution okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to find the maximum number of banana in one pie okay so let's say mx equals uh let's say zero okay now for int le and files and you already know how we can find maximum in one array so we are going, just going to use it mx equal math dot max of math dot max of um, mx comma ele okay so that's how we find max we need to create a binary search so we will put zero and i is equal to x okay we are doing a binary search for low to high so low is less than equal to i and then we are going to do some binary search okay so we needed to calculate speed so let's take a variable let's start from integer.max although it doesn't matter if we use integer.max or not because uh, we are trying to find the minimum value and we are going to substitute a speed in our binary search later on when we do this you will see why i said this okay so first of all what we need to do we were calculating a particular speed so a particular speed or the middle most element or middle middle in the low and high range so it was like low plus high divided by 2 okay so there is a problem here now uh, it might not be apparent to you in the first go but this is a problem so let's suppose that you have some low and high in this uh, at this point but high is somewhere around uh, 1 e9 let's say in one pile you have integer of max value okay so high will be is equal to integer dot max value right it's around 2 billion something something okay and if i will try to add something now anything one or even two i plus low what will it will become i plus low will definitely go integer uh, maximum capacity so if integer goes out of the of, uh, out of its capacity it becomes negative integer so this won't work here right integer overflow problem can occur here all right so how we can resolve this uh, it's very simple to do this we are just going to remove high uh, low from my high and i will add this to my low with this i have avoided that overflow of integer problem right hmm. so i need to check if uh, using this speed it is possible to com uh, completely eat all the bananas so i will write a function called is possible to check if i can eat all uh, not me obviously coco can eat all the bananas so what i will pass this to the function the information about the piles 
current speed of coco and the max uh, minimum not maximum time the time for which the guards are gone okay so this function is going to check that now let's say this function gives me true value meaning that the speed is possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the speed uh, nahi. No, no. first i'm going to put this current speed to my speed variable that i have already declared here right after this i need to reduce my speed so what i'm going to do i'm going to to replace my high with speed minus one right you remember that when uh, our mid was more than or less than value if mid uh, mid was more than or higher than the value that we needed to find so that's what we are doing here if the speed is already available to eat the banana it might not be the perfect answer so i need to reduce speed to check if there is another uh, small value for which uh, that coco can eat banana okay so if this is not possible then i definitely need to increase the speed at which coco is eating banana so what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the low speed plus one so that coco can increase its his speed or her speed right now this is all done right if there is no syntax error this will run fine now we need to create this function which can tell me how we can actually calculate uh, is it possible to eat our banana in some time or not okay so public static and let's say boolean right is possible so int and then this is also int and this is also int What we are calculating here the time at which uh, the time taken by the speed that we have given right time let's start from zero we are going to calculate our time so same for each loop le for files right now time plus equals divided by speed and after this I'm going to return when I'm going to return true right uh, so if my time is less than or equal to number of hours meaning that it is possible to eat banana in that time frame then I'm going to return true so time is less than or equal to h then uh, I have to return true if it is not then I have to return false right. okay so this is fine and this should run but I think there is some problem in it I obviously know there is some problem in it but can you find it hmm. take a moment to think about it just pause this video right here and try to think what I am missing here in this solution. There is something missing. Okay, so I think you have thought about it and you are ready to know what I am missing here. See, this statement is slightly wrong here. Now, why? Let's take an example. Let's say my uh, banana in that pile is 13 and my speed is 2 we have already discussed how much time this pile is going to take to be eaten by coco if she is eating at the speed of 2 banana per hour 
seven hours. But according to this line here, what this is going to show? This is going to do this, and this is going to give me six, not seven. So how can I make this into seven? How can I make this to give me seven? If I take 13 and 2 in double, in double value, double data type, so what this is going to give me 6.5. And if I take 6.5's steel, so this is going to give me 7. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use 13 divided by 2 as the double uh, variable and I'm going to calculate steel then of this division right so let's do this first let's convert it into double data type okay after this max dot seal and i think we are ready now to run this program so let's run it it is successful for our sample test case. Let's run for all test cases. So it passed all three test cases. Right. Now, this is all about what we were doing in this question. Okay. Now let's talk about its time complexity, how much time this is going to take. Right. Consider this is possible function. How much time do you think this function is going to take if I have n number of files? n number of files is present. So how much time this function is going to take? Or rather, what will be the time complexity for this function only? It will be O of n, right? Because each time I'm checking for every element. Hmm. So this is will O of n, right? Now for this function, this is going to take n time. And this function is going to take log of n time multiplied by time taken by this function because I'm calling this function every time. Okay. So overall time complexity of this function will be n log n. Right. Meaning this while loops for time complexity will be n log n. Okay. So if we calculate the time taken by this minimum speed function this is going to be n log n plus n and if you will calculate its time complexity it will turn out to be o of log n log n like o of n log n which is definitely less than our naive solution which was giving us the time complexity of n square okay n log n is definitely less than n square okay you must be wondering that in that question we were taking only four iterations and in this we were doing much more work than that right but you have to remember that this is take uh, my this naive solution was taking that much time for only specific question only one specific question but this solution that i have made this function i have made is going to always take n log n time okay so this is going to be my time complexity now let's talk about the space complexity for the function as you can see i have used some variables here some variable here some variable here but i haven't used any variable that is dependent upon my n a value that cannot be 
uh, that I haven't used. Right. Uh, I haven't used any additional array stack or anything like that. So my time complexity is, oh sorry, space complexity is O of 1 because it's taking constant space. Right. So I hope that you have understood this question well and you now know about its time complexity and space com complexity as well. Now I think you are ready to tackle this question once again. So good luck with that. And with this, solution for this video ends here and now i will see you in the next question